everybody. It's a pleasure to show you a little video tour of this 1969 Chevy Camaro SS 350 convertible. This car has just been complete and it was the subject of a rotisserie restoration. The whole car has been beautifully been done and uh, it's just an absolutely fantastic condition and I think it's just really cool about these cars is that uh, whether you prefer European or, or muscle American it just the, this, these, this Camaro is always just going to be such a classic it's just always going to turn heads and it's just always going to shine um, I really like this it's uh, this was redone to be as original as possible, back to 1969. Uh, we will do, I will do my best to show you this, but I mean, remember that I was born in 1986, so everything I will show you, I'm gonna do with my best of knowledge that I've learned from our uh, client who we are helping sell the car. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool about the, the wheels even, this is stainless steel, and uh, these are actually original chrome center pieces right here and uh, all been redone with uh, BF Goodridge tires and this is even this is also just kind of a nice uh, showing you how well this restoration was done you see how smoothly curved this uh, chrome molding is even through our experience this gets very difficult to make it as round as it is even because oftentimes after it gets re chromed you often have to hammer it smooth it out and it can be very difficult and very expensive if you have to if you are paying somebody to do this um, all the the SS pieces on the badges around the car are in such nice shape the, the paint on the car is just fantastic you know it's it's one thing you can read all the all the letters on this um, paint all over the car is just in fantastic shape even the even these black stripes actually also have a clear coat over them so they're not going to fade uh, done very well this is a when I say new even like the the top this is an all new top and what's kind of nice is that it's actually a real glass window it's not a plexiglass like some of the even uh, older SLs have but this is real glass it's not going to fade or it's going to rip um, the interior is just black houndstooth this is all new interior, the, the door panels, the seats, um, this is just just absolutely fantastic. Uh, the gauges are all working. Those are actually aftermarket gauges that were uh, put on, but you will sometimes see other ones I have noticed that have maybe had these gauges underneath where the stereo is, but I think it's better over here because when you're tall like me, I would hit my knees on the gauges if they were at that spot. All the pieces are just just fantastic. It's so clean. It's just looks so well. All the lights are working, turn signals, the brakes, and we've actually the inspected the car for safety and so when you get this car you won't have to check or double check anything. Just get in, start it up, and drive away. The, uh, the our customer, he when he was doing the restoring the car, he couldn't decide whether or not he wanted to have an original stereo or a newer satellite stereo installed here. So well, I think you could have your choice. Maybe get maybe even get an original stereo that doesn't work, and then have your modern stereo with satellite MP3 in the glove box, nicely hidden, and so that I mean it's. It's 2014, so I mean, we can also have some nice newer stuff. But it's also nice because new speakers and all new wiring harnesses, the engine wiring harness and all new wiring harness underneath this dash, so it's ready for you to get a stereo. And remember that unless you're doing it yourself, this is very expensive to take all this apart to get to all the wiring back here. Um, it can really just all add up. So, but it's all ready to go for you to install a stereo of your choice. It's a, a, here we have some trophies, so 
Just to show you, these are uh, from 2010, these trophies, and um, this gives you a nice little view of how much appreciation other people have seen in this car. And uh, so that's just kind of nice. I mean, it's uh, actually, this car actually has gotten some recognition already. And it's very easy to show. That well, this won the People's Choice Award in 2010 out of 720 cars. Uh, so that's kind of cool that out of uh, over 700 cars, this one was People's Choice. Let's uh, you see underneath the hood. And uh, yeah, the whole car is just it's really easy to show you. I mean, and we have more pictures underneath the car, so don't hesitate to ask us for additional close-up shots. Underneath we have the whole car it just looks like it's just back from 1969. It's a cowl induction hood. This is uh, an original, this is an original rebuilt Chevy 704R transmission. This is a completely rebuilt uh, 350 motor. You, everything under here is new. We, he even ha we even have the, the dust, the rubber dust seals here that we will install for you. We have them. And uh, the air conditioning that has not been connected. Our uh, customer decided, he just figured, well, if I'm driving a convertible, what do I need to put on air conditioning for? But if you'd like, you know, maybe you could have get the uh, AC compressor put in here, or maybe you could get a, um, a, newer, a newer system, maybe a more efficient. Uh, but at the same time, it is a convertible. In my opinion, if you want AC, just put the top down and drive faster. But uh, just very, very good shape. I mean, it's very easy to show this car. Gosh, what else? You have the, all the cocktail shakers are here. Um, remember, they were on all four corners. It's a little harder to see underneath the hood, but they're in the trunk as well. Well, makes the ride a little bit smoother when you're driving. And um, all the wood in the center console is just fantastic. Um, yeah, nice to work. You take a look at the trunk. And we have hard copy photo albums to share with you too. So we have lots of service records and invoices. Wrong key. Got the sticker here on the trunk. As you can see the trunk, um, our, our client, he couldn't decide whether whether he wanted to just have carpeting laid down here or kind of a liner. So at this point he was just using uh, this kind of cover for the floor because usually in the back he just kept the car cover, some oil and some cleaning materials. Uh, he pretty much almost never opens this trunk. But here are the cocktail shakers I was talking about there. Just same on this side and also under the hood there. there. And uh, gosh, okay. I'll start it up for you guys so you can, you can hear it run. And all the seat belts, all the buckles are working. Um, yeah, let's see here. It's a new air conditioning and heater blower motor is underneath here as well. questions just email us. We have lots of pictures to show you, lots of information. Uh, it's a beautiful car. You're going to love it. So please let me answer any questions you have. Thank you.